Hello everyone, so today I will show you an open source alternative to Notion. Uh, if you are watching a lot of YouTube, you are probably already know what Notion is, but uh, the problem with it is that it's not open source. Uh, it's a proprietary software and uh, also the data on Notion is not encrypted. So if anyone is, uh, if there will be a leak from Notion, then your personal notes might be leaked too and this is not very good so this is why today I will show you an open source alternative that you can run only on your desktop or you can uh, self host it and use it with your team so the alternative is called focal board it's uh, developed by a company that has another big open source project I will to talk about that a bit later so here is a preview of how it looks it's very easy to download the they have two version today I will show you the personal desktop version but they also have the Mattermost boards this is uh, in combination with another software that they offer and it can be on the cloud or self-hosted on a server by you for your team this is a replacement, Metromos is a replacement for uh, multiple things like Slack, for example. Here is what you can do with it. There are a lot of things and of course you can just use the self-hosted version. But today uh, we are going to take a look at Focal Board personal desktop version. So here you have uh, how to install it. I'm on Linux and I already downloaded the latest version from their release page on GitHub. So let's run it. It's very easy to run. Uh, if you are on Linux, you may have to change this to make it unacceptable. Okay, so this is how it looks when you run it. You can have different, different views here. You can have board, table and gallery. Board is like that Trello board. The table view is uh, what uh, is mostly used on Notion and of course here you have filters, you can sort, you can add new things, it's not as advanced as Notion but uh, I think the trade-off is worth it and here you have a typical Trello board with to do doing done, these were already here, you have some more templates and you can create your personal template you can also set a light team or use your system team or a dark team it has multiple languages and of course you can export this and import it on a new computer you can also export a specific board on board only or uh, you can search on it let's try to see if we find out how to add a new element here uh, we can just click on the last one and click insert, insert right or insert left and we can hide some properties. It's not as advanced as Notion but uh, I think it's very good and uh, you can self-host it so that is a big plus. It may leak some features. On the next video I'm going to show you another option that is also an alternative to Ansible and it has more advanced features but for simple workflows this is going to be more than good enough let's take a look at the guide also forgot to mention you can click here on open this is how you edit the type here and the title of a property you have a lot of types for example a select let's set this to a multi-select and then here you can write some markdown te text. So this is how it looks when you preview it. You can use this to track your habits, make shopping lists and so on. And now we can add the properties directly on the table view, as you can see from here. Yeah, I think uh, this covers most of the features for the desktop version. As I said previously, there is also the Metamouse board version that is included with this 
software and this is mostly for teams but if you just want the personal edition you can even host it for your team if you just need this feature here is a tutorial i won't get into that yeah that's it for today if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments also if you have a video request you can leave a comment thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel have a great day bye bye